write it with your envelope. Please pick up one, all right? Like I said, it is phone numbers and states no smoking of any kind. Post it on this bus. There's no smoking. First thing up here on the panel by the floor, no smoking, no fooling on the bus. Well, that's my first time. I didn't know you didn't have to smoke. Hey, also it states intoxication is also prohibited. Any type of alcoholic beverage, any type of illegal drug, any type of weapon. That includes pocket knives. You got a pocket knife, you need to bring it to my attention before they bring it to yours. Because if they do, you and your pocket knife will be next in the bus. Bring it to my attention, I'll stand in play you. Any type of explosive, any type of explosive material, any type of illegal documents are all prohibited. The use of these articles, the selling of the purchase of and transport of them inside of you and outside you is all prohibited. We could be stopped by the authority at any time, or I can have authority to come to the bus at any time. If this do happen, please cooperate with them so it won't be there so long. If they do decide to take you off this bus, go ahead and take care of your business. Okay. Okay. We do have Wi-Fi capability, but you have to hook it up correctly. I don't know nothing about it. I'm from the old school where you have to the paper. Okay? Someone on here might know. Ask around, all right. You do also have outlets. As far as I know, they all work. Like People that have worked, have work, uh, let me know that it's working. <laughs> Please be very careful. This is electricity running through those outlets. All right. They're very dangerous to use it wrong. So please be very safe. All right. So everyone can continue to have electricity. Okay. All right. We'll give you enough restroom breaks off the bus. A clean restroom with hand soap and uh, running water. Please take care of the germs on your hands when you take care of your business, all right? Keep both lids down on the bus. I recommend you use it off the bus, all right? <laughs> all right. <laughs> Our itinerary leads something like this. Can you tie my shoes? Ladies and gentlemen, I'll give you a chance to get off the bus and stretch and do whatever you need to do. In Denton, Texas, I hope it's when we arrive there, all right? After leaving then we're going to Gainesville, Texas. After Gainesville, we're going to cross the Red River to the state of Oklahoma. Our first stop in the state of Oklahoma will be Ardmore, Oklahoma. Ardmore, you have a schedule break, and I'll go over the details of your schedule break when we arrive in Ardmore, Oklahoma. Now, yesterday they had plumbing problems, so lights froze or something. If they don't have it to fix it this time, we'll stop and then we'll go to somewhere that you can relieve yourself again, all right? So don't worry about it. I'll be worrying, okay? All right. After leaving Ardmore, we're going to Paul Valley, Oklahoma. After Paul Valley, we're going to Norman, Oklahoma. After Norman, we're going to Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Oklahoma is your first major transfer point. And you do have a schedule break there, too. We'll go over some of the minutes when we arrive in Oklahoma City. After leaving Oklahoma City, we're going to Perry, Oklahoma. Then After Perry, we're going into Kansas. Our first stop in Kansas will be Wichita, Kansas. That's our second major transfer point. That also is a driver change only. And I'll go over the details of that in other minutes when we arrive in Wichita, Kansas. The next operator to take over in Wichita take you non-stop all the way to Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, Missouri will be the final destination of your schedule 73. 24. And you. Please collect your bags underneath and all bags on top. If you make a transfer, please check inside with the ticket information counter. Alright? Do not ask another driver. Do not ask the people working underneath the bus. They do not have the capability of having the computer. Greyhound can change things as you ride. They count on a schedule. The way they do it, they email it to the computer. The people that let the ticket information down when they pull it up, that's when they know it has been counted. Everybody else don't know. 
you'll get the correct information from the heavy, heavy travel right? I know. I see it. If you'll count, you're going to make counts a lot of Kansas City, yeah. then you talk to the people there, okay? But make sure you check it out. Maybe he used to be a tour guide. In Kansas guy. City, Missouri. That would be the itinerary we'll follow. Please take a break at the break time and please report back from the If I do not give you a break, please remain on this coach unless the spot we make is your destination. That will guarantee us to make up time, stay on time, and guarantee not to I'll tell you what, if he wrecks the bus, I'm going to be in horrible pain when I'm suing. All I ask you to do is be strong enough to take what you brought on the top of the bus with you. He's recording the evidence right now as to why. When you tell people this, they don't believe you. Just wait on the next bus, anyone. Have to have an explanation why you're not on this bus. Give them this explanation. Tell them you've grown enough to get on this bus. You've grown enough to get on another bus. All you have to do is stay grown. Stay home. Be gone with us. Now, we do appreciate your cooperation. We do hope you enjoy your trip while you're with me. If you got any type of electronic instrument, you must have a headset, federal law, state, and uh, 9-11 of 06. All cell phones must be turned off before boarding. Plane, train, and bus. I will relax it as long as you do not disturb anyone. By turning your ringer down low, and talking very softly. No speakerphone, walkie talk, on radio phone, no church phone. You may text as much as you wish. All right, once you disturb, it will be asked to turn off, period. All right? All right. The weather going to be cold. Now, let me tell you, they look up a little suspicious, about 20%. If it falls, it's going to be ice. That's why I need for you to keep everything secure. Okay? Alright. I want you to be safe. I am. I want you to be safe and courteous and do not disturb and do not destroy. Okay? I'm very committed to your safety and your well-being, alright? Very committed. My name is Bob. I will be in charge. If anyone disturbs you if anyone think I can do to help you, bring it to my attention, alright? Don't let nobody take your enjoyment of having a good trip away from you. They say in this secular world, misery loves company. We get rid of the misery and the company can stay. If you're in the spiritual world like I am, I'm the same. Don't let you know that now. And the devil's a lie. He will not get your enjoyment away from me. No, I already know he has lost the battle, right? All you have to do is bring it. You gotta give me that card and bring it to me, and I'll shout the devil out of here. All right, all right. We do appreciate it. Thank you. It's gonna be cold. We gonna keep the temperature uncomfortable. All right. Let me get you to Carrollton, Texas now. Thank you, and enjoy your trip. Relax and enjoy your trip. Thank you. I told you he's a preacher. What the? <laughs>